हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिशे शताब्दी धौर सीनियर फैकल्टी ऑफ एसवीएसटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट नेटवर्क केबल यूजिंग आरजे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्टर्स सो टू क्रिएट नेटवर्क केबल यूजिंग आर जे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्टर्स आवर एम शुड बी केबल क्रिम्पिंग स्ट्रेट केबलिंग क्रॉस केबलिंग टेस्टिंग द क्रिम्पड केबल यूजिंग अ केबल टेस्टर नाउ द एपरेटर्स और टूल्स और इक्विपमेंट्स और कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी नीड आर आर जे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्टर्स क्रिम्पिंग टूल ट्विस्टेड पेयर केबल एंड केबल टेस्टर सो हेयर वी नीड अवेर केबल टेस्टर क्रिम्पिंग टूल एंड आर जे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्टर so there are two kinds of ethernet cables you can make those are straight through cable and crossover cables now we are going to discuss about straight through cables we usually use straight cable to connect different type of devices this type of cable will be used most of the time and can be used to connect a computer to a switch or hubs normal port or connect a computer to a cable dsl modems lan port or connect a router's wan port to a cable or dsl modems lan port or connect a router's lan port to a switch or hubs uplink port or connect to two switch or hubs with one of the switch or hub using an uplink port and the other one is using normal port <clears throat> now the color combination of the wire should like that that is white green green white orange blue white blue orange white brown and brown both the port will be the same combination here you can see this wire now we are going to make this straight through cable first we have to crimp we have to cut some cable like this we have to cut the cover of the cable so the outer cover is here and you can see here four pair of wires four pair of wires the color combination are given here those are white green green white orange blue white blue orange white brown and brown so there are eight wires you can see here eight wires
now first we have taken that white green then green then white orange then blue then white blue then the orange then white brown and the last one is brown we have to align it in this combination now we have to do it properly straight to insert into this rj45 connector <coughs> so the end point should be cut it perfectly now you can see that how we are going to cut the end edge so the cutter part of the crimping tool is used for cutting the end edge <coughs> and to be perfectly sharp now we are going to insert those wires in this rj45 connector the wire should be inserted properly the outer cover also to be inserted in the rj45 connector <coughs> now using this crimping tool i'm going to crimp the rj45 connector so that the eight wires are injected through this crimping tool now the straight through wire is ready both the sides are, sides are ready here <coughs> now we have to test this straight through wire by the cable tester so you can see that the signal 1 is going to 1 2 is going to 2 3 is going to 3 4 is going to 4 5 is going to 5 and so on now we are going to make the crossover cables <coughs> sometimes you will use crossover cable it's usually used to connect same type of devices a crossover cable can be used to connect two computers directly or connect a router's lan port to a switch or hub's normal port or connect to switch or hubs for using normal port in both switches or hubs the color combination of the other side should be like this like white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown and brown now we are taking again this wire and separating the eight wires
and align those squares like white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown and the last one is brown now i am aligned it i have aligned it perfectly straight and cutting it through the cutter the edge must be perfectly straight now insert it into the rj45 connector as we have done in the straight through cable now all the wires are inserted into the rj45 connector both the ends are ready in this wire this twisted pair cable both the wires are ready here both the ends are ready here so the combination combinations are shown here here one side should be as the straight through cable combination and other side should be the crossover like combination now i am crimping the rj45 connector through the crimping tool it is properly crimped now now we have to test the wire so properly observe the combination that 1 is going to 3 2 is going to 6 3 is going to 1 4 is going to 4 5 is going to 5 6 is is going to 2 7 is going to 7 and 8 is going to 8 now what is the uses of straight and crossover cables when we use hub to hub we use the crossover cable hub to switch we use crossover cable hub to router we use straight cable straight through cable and hub to workstation straight through cable when switch to hub we again use the crossover cable switch to switch it's used crossover cable switch to router straight through cable switch to workstation straight through cable router to hub straight through cable router to switch straight cable straight through cable router to router crossover cable router to workstation crossover cable workstation to hub straight cable workstation to uh, switch straight through cable workstation to router crossover cable and again workstation to workstation crossover cable thank you for watching my video and please subscribe my channel